I'm Rob LeCuria, Senior Editor at Gold Derby, here with Production Designer Kerry White, who has just scored his third Emmy nomination, this time for Yellowstone. First of all, Kerry, congratulations on your Emmy nomination. Thank you very much. So how did you find out about this one? Were you like, um, did it come out of nowhere for you? It really did. I was sitting here just minding my own business and the art director sitting right over next to me said, you will never guess what happened. We've just been nominated for an Emmy. So I was like, come on, that's not right. Yeah, it was, so I guess so. Yeah, isn't that cool? Um, you, you share the nomination with Yvonne Boudreaux and Carla Curry on your team. You've been nominated for the episode Going Back to Cali, which I must say is uh, probably one of the highlight episodes of season three. But what's really interesting, there's two really interesting things about this nomination. Firstly, the last nomination that you received was 25 years ago, around 25 years ago for Buffalo Girls in 1995. And prior to that, you were nominated in 1989 for Lonesome Dove. So it's been a long time between drinks. And so, I mean, like, I'm hoping the next nomination is not going to take 25 years, but I mean, you must be super thrilled that you've been invited back to the Emmys. You know, I think it may be a lifetime achievement uh, sort of deal they're doing here. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, let's hope not. I hope there's more to come. But what's also really great is that this is the first nomination ever for Yellowstone. Uh, the blockbuster number one cable series on TV that everybody that I know loves and watches uh, finally has been recognised by the Academy after three seasons. How does it feel to break ground and represent the show at the Emmys, which is, which is so long overdue? Oh, I'm really proud to do that because I think it's a really good show. And, you know, I wonder if because it hadn't gotten any love, we were just, they said, you know, maybe we should give Yellowstone something. And, uh, hey, how about production design? Okay, well, let's do that. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe they were just like, you know, okay, what do we love most about the show? We, we, we you know, the actors are all amazing. Like, I think Kelly Riley should have won by now, Kevin Costner, but look, the production design is pretty fantastic. Let's drill down into your designs on the show because, they're pretty, um, they're pretty fantastic. The first thing um, that I must say, though, is that you joined the show after season one, after the departure of original production designer Ruth De Jong. Um, so I'd love to know what were some of the challenges of keeping that level of continuity on the show's look and feel, um, but putting your own stamp on it to some extent? Well, that's it. I mean, it was such a high level um, of production value on with the show that the challenge is just maintaining that and trying to keep it. It's I felt like when I first saw it, it was, what a good looking show. So you don't want to screw it up, you know. It's um, and fortunately, um, I have just the most talented group of people that I'm working with. You know, the construction coordinator Sammy and Carla, the set decorator. My gosh, they are just so good. And Yvonne, I've, the, she and I have been working together for a very long time, and we have our act together, kind of, or she has hers, and I, she tolerates me. But, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'm rambling, but, uh, you know, that's, that, was, that is the challenge, is to keep it going and keep it looking good. Isn't it um, so wonderful when you're working with uh, a team, especially someone like Yvonne uh, and even Carla, but Yvonne particularly because you've been working with her for such a long time, you almost have, well, you have a, a really interesting understanding about how you both work and how, you know, uh, you can, I, I think it elevates the work because you're able to just communicate in a really special way. You understand each other. Do you find that that's really elevated your work this season? Oh, absolutely. You know, at, at this point, it's such a shorthand with everyone because we we know each other and we know what what the preferences are and how to work with each other. And, and it just, um, you know, it, it's a lot easier and smoother than starting with people that you never worked with before. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um I was looking back at your credits. Uh, you've obviously been working for uh, quite some time. Um, 
you've designed a whole variety of genres. That's that goes without question. But I want to talk about how you're one. I think you're one of the leading designers in this visually striking Western genre that has really, I think, seen a resurgence over the last few years, particularly because of this show. Lonesome Dove, Buffalo Girls, The Sun. Uh, what is it about the genre that appeals to you most? You know, they've written the obituary for the Western so many times and um, and it's uh, not dead by a long shot. It, you know, it's part of our culture, I think, the mythology of the West, Western with good guys and bad guys and wide open spaces. And um, so it appeals to people. And um, I mean, we have, this is a modern Western, but it's still the same thing. Uh, we're still doing good guys and bad guys and they may ride, ride in trucks and flying helicopters, but they're riding horses too and punching cows. So, you know, we're back to the basics of the whole thing. And what is it about the aesthetic of the Western? Do you do you just seem to gravitate towards you know the the great the great Wild West, the pioneering West, the the great outdoors? Is that something that just appeals to you personally? You know, I think one thing is it's so different from so many people's daily reality. You know, they they get to see a world they don't really know, and it's 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 wide open, it's wild and woolly, it's beautiful. I mean, that's, it. in Montana, I always say it doesn't matter which way you point the camera, it's going to, it's going to be beautiful wherever you point the camera. So it, that's all part of, part of the aesthetic, I think, you know. I'm hmm. um, thinking about season three in particular, and, and even this episode, um, I, I obviously one of the highlights uh, is Rip and Beth's cabin. Um, it's rustic and weathered, but very homely. And it feels somewhere that Rick would call home. Uh, and I loved in particular uh, the front porch uh, that incorporates these uh, twisted branches on its railing. I found that really, really um, effective. So I'd love you to talk us through the concept, the, the conceptualization of the cabin and, and how you put it all together. Well, we were lucky to find a place that we were able to adapt um and you know i always say it's better to be lucky than smart and that was one of those situations um but it was a ski shop and we had to change so much in the thing um but that you know the good guys ruth basically set it up where the good guys get, get that sort of pioneer rustic log look and so i really wanted that for for beth and um rip's cabin and this place achieved that and we were able to kind of create the loft of kitchen all these different things in there that didn't exist but that's what you do and it, it worked well i was uh, i'm proud of it i thought it was great yeah it's really beautiful it's really um it's really fitting for the rest of the look and feel of the show. Like, as you mentioned earlier on this show in particular, of, because of the location and the way that it's shot, every shot to me feels like a painting. It looks like a painting. It's very beautiful to look at. And the cabin is no exception, but I'm very interested to understand how you are balancing the really rustic wild west kind of, there's no, um, there's, there's no like a, uh, right angles everything's a little bit kind of out of order because it's made out of kind of organic material and yet it still feels so homely and warm um what what strategies are you employing to make that work so effectively oh you know I, it's the palette that we're using it's all uh, it's that natural palette of uh, that earth tones and that sort of thing and um it's um, just what we're putting in in the scene. Um, there, there's there are skillets on the wall, and and he's he's cooking stuff, and you know on this old stove, and it's that's what that's what gives it its uh, its warmth and its reality. Now everything has to feel real with Taylor. It's uh, can't do anything that feels phony at all with this this show 
Yeah, uh, that's probably one of the keys actually to make it feel so authentic. Um, has, there, has there been many changes throughout season two and particularly season three to the main homestead on the Dutton Ranch or has that pretty much stayed pretty static from season one? Well, you know, the exterior of the ranch is the same. The interior has moved from Utah to Montana, uh, to Montana. so that's that's a serious change. Uh, to pick up everything on a uh, studio and move it, you know, several states away, and to maintain a schedule while you're doing it is that's that's challenging. Yeah, and so I mean, I, I was aware that you had moved locations. Um, does that mean that you had any scope to add to the set or to make any like significant changes to it? Because it is such a centerpiece on this show. Like it really is. And it's, we look forward to looking at it because it's just so beautiful to look at. You know, with that, Ruth did just so, such an amazing job. And I uh, am so grateful for establishing our heroes with that really rustic Montana log look so our bad guys can have these modern slick you know kind of like the environment you're in you know you can you can put them in a very uh, sterile kind of world and our good guys it feels like you're step back in time and you're back in pioneer days yeah it i think that's obviously so intentional and it's um when beth's working in the office um, that's where it, it may, it's slightly jarring because she's kind of moving over to the dark side, so to speak. And you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Where I am right now, I'm in like corporate world uh, and you are in the beautiful organic uh, West. So that means you are the good. And unfortunately, I have to be the bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't, don't take it personally. You know? Oh, absolutely not. You know, the good, the bad guys sometimes get more interesting storylines. So I'm happy with that. Um, so I was also thinking when, when I'm season four was, uh, I, I'm really not sure about the, whether season four is finished production. Can you talk us through what's going on with season four? Uh, season four, we have completed, um, and right now, um, I'm, I'm working on Taylor's next, oh, uh, well, his, another, uh, series that he's doing, 1883. Yeah. So I'm, I'm out, I just came in from scouting ranches, uh, that's why I'm wearing my sombrero, because I just didn't yeah. take it off when I got in. Um, and I've done a lot of that on Yellowstone, uh, but this is, this is actually the, the real Wild West, you know, that we're going back to with this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the uh, spin-off 1883. It's obviously in its early days, but it's just a really great, um, look, it's, it's a sign that the network and the studio love the show and the success that it's has had that Taylor's been given the opportunity for one, not one, but two spin-offs. Um, look, thinking back to season four, um, was it, was, it was shut down because of the pandemic, wasn't it? There was, there was an issue obviously, cause it was being, it was being shooting at the same time. Well, they, we, they pushed it and uh, it, so it, it was delayed for months because of the pandemic. And I think we were one of the first companies that went, went back to work uh, and the, you know, protocols as far as, and, you know, we had a few positive cases when we got to Montana, um, there was, it was Mon the state of Montana had fewer cases than almost any other state. When we left, that wasn't the case at all. It was one of the states with the highest amount of uh, infection. So, but we, we managed to get it all done and it, it worked, uh, but it delayed everything. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine it would. And it's challenging to have everything set up and then having have to go away and come back later and restart. That's, that must be really challenging and I, I'm probably really quite stressful. <laughs> well, there were a couple other little complications as well because we were moving all the sets from Utah. That complicated things. And we were on a hurry up schedule when we got started. And so we doubled up and tripled up with 
uh, shooting and there's only one art department, we have to kind of uh, um, accommodate everyone, all these different crews that are working. So it was, it was what, it wasn't easy. <laughs> it wasn't easy, that's for sure. Uh -uh. Um, I think everybody that I, that I know that loves this show has always asked me, when are we going to see season four? Like, what is taking so long? You know, that season three concluded almost a year ago. So we're waiting with bated breath. Do you have any idea when we're going to see? I'm, I'm, I'm hearing the fall, but have you been told? Oh, no, I don't know. But I'm hearing the fall as well. And I'm sure that that will happen. But um, I, I get that question a lot. And yeah. And, you know, they they get mad at me like, um, you know, they like I'm holding it up. And that's not the case. No, if it was up to you, it would have, been, it would have started airing by now. Um, and we, obviously without spoiling anything because we don't want you to get into trouble, but um, from what you've seen on season four, are you like super impressed? Is it going to blow our minds like season three did? I think so. I really think it's one of the best um, seasons. I, there's, there's really good stuff going on. Absolutely. So stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to that. Um, look, finally, um, Kerry, I just wanted to uh, congratulate you on some really wonderful work and, uh, and thanks for sharing some of your insights on the show. Uh, good luck at the Emmys and hopefully we'll see you back here again uh, for another nomination for season four. Well, I certainly appreciate that and it's been a pleasure visiting with you.